What's up, YouTube? It's Link Legend Russ, and today I'm here with another Nintendo Switch game unboxing. As you can see here, I have a package that just arrived from Target. I recently picked up Persona 5 Royal Steelbook Edition for Nintendo Switch. It is a long-anticipated port that I've been waiting for. By the way, I do apologize in this video if there's a lot of... Um, a lot of noise i have a birthday party going on outside not my birthday party but i have my neighbors are having a birthday party so do i do apologize if there's any discrepancies in the video but with that let's go ahead and get into this unboxing video so i already opened it up because i wanted to make sure that target did ship out the steelbook edition of persona 5 royal because target's been really notorious with me and buying i buy a game but then they end up sending the standard edition when it's not supposed to be that but um I do want to show a little comparison video, or not a comparison video, but I want to show it also. This is how it compares. So this is the normal Persona 5 for, 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 play, for, for PlayStation 4, excuse me. And then this is the Steelbook Edition for Persona 5. So really, it's more of a comparison between these two. This is just the normal vanilla Persona 5. So I'm going to move this out the way. And I want to go ahead and show it off with this. But I want to go ahead and read this off and open it up. So change the world. Prepare for the award-winning RPG experience in this definitive edition of Persona 5 Royal, featuring the treasure trove of downloadable content included. Don the mask of Joker and join the Phantom Feast of Hearts as they stage grand heist, infiltrate the minds of the corrupt, and make them change their ways. And as you can see here, here's a whole bunch of screenshots, and it is one-player TV tabletop and handheld mode. I guess there's some Nintendo, um, Nintendo Switch Online capabilities with this game also. It is pro controller supported, which is great. And it tells you about the basic reading ability. So once again, shout out to Sega and Atlas, whoever it was that decided to finally get this ported, not just on the Nintendo Switch, but also on Xbox. Because obviously we know that Persona fans, well, Nintendo fans, I should say, wanted this game to come out, me included, ever since Joker was introduced to um, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. I also have my Joker Amiibo. I don't plan on showing them in this video, but um, I did want to go over and show off this and then compare it to the PlayStation 4 version because there is um, some notorieties other than it does come with, you know, all the DLC on the content in the, in the cartridge. Ooh, let me move that plastic off of me. And I'm going to move this. So here's the, here's the um, steelbook for this. And let me move this. Here we go. So here's a comparison between the PlayStation 4 and uh, PlayStation, yeah, PlayStation 4 and the uh, Nintendo Switch versions. So I'm opening it up. I don't believe there's any codes in here or anything. Yep. So this is what the Steelbook looks like in all of its glory. It just looks like normal. I think it's Tokyo or Shibuya. I can't be too sure. And here's the game cartridge. I'm gonna go ahead and show that off real quick. Yep, it is so wonderful to hold this in my hand. I've been waiting so long for this game to come out on the Nintendo Switch. So I'm going to leave that there. And then I'm going to go ahead and just show off the inside of my um, Persona 5 Steelbook case. Just to show as a comparison. I'm not going to show a whole lot of it. But um, here's the play here's, here's the um, game. And I'm going to move the DLC codes. This is what the inside of this looks like. So I'm going to move the disc. That's what it looks like. This has never been used. I haven't really played much of the um, vanilla game because when I bought the vanilla game of Persona 5, Royal came out. So I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and buy this instead. I bought this for Walmart for $49.99. I'll just go ahead and say that. But um, no, um, tell me in the comments which still book you think is a lot better. I personally, I'm thinking I like the inside more of the um, Persona 5. For PlayStation 4. I'm thinking I like the Steelbook case more for that. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and close this up real quick and we'll go ahead and get my Nintendo Switch and show that off. And if you check the last video, which would have been the last video before this moment, I would have already done Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope and showed off that Steelbook. And with this Steelbook, I believe if I was to count how many Steelbooks I had, I believe I have nine. There goes the game icon in all of its glory. I wanted to zoom in real quick. I don't know why my camera's zooming out. Let's see if there's a day one update. There is currently not a day one update, but I'm sure there will be one. You get 60 gold coins American. I know that for sure. Um, European, I want to see, do you get gold coins for that? Because usually when you get gold coins for that, that means the game is compatible with that region. You get 55 gold coins. Okay. 
Japan. Now here's here's what I want to see. It is not compatible with the Japanese eShop, basically. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video out. So like and subscribe. Dislike if you dislike the video. And with that, I would say have a nice goddamn day. Goodbye and have a good one.